This episode looks at the life of Lambert Simnel. A boy plucked from obscurity by an Oxford priest, to become a figurehead for the Yorkists in reclaiming the throne of England. Lambert Simnel was believed to have been born around 1477. Unfortunately, there are no records in existence to confirm the exact date of his birth, if any more there is still dispute on what his original name actually was. There is also a mystery around the background of his father's profession, ranging between a baker, a tradesman or an organ builder. When Simnel was about 10 years old, he was tutored by Richard Simon, who was a priest trained at Oxford. Simon thought that the young Simnel bore a very uncanny resemblance to the sons of Edward IV, both of whom had gone missing in the Tower of London during 1483. Then opportunity would favour Simon when, Edward Plantagenet, 17th Earl of Warwick, son of George Plantagenet, 1st Duke of Clarence, who had a slender claim to the throne, would die during his imprisonment in the Tower of London in November 1499. Edward and Simnel would be of a similar age and a more suitable match to pass of as a pretender than either of Edward IV's sons. Simon would groom Simnel on the etiquette and rules of court in order to pass the boy off as royalty. Simon would then go on to pass word that Edward Plantagenet had escaped from the Tower of London and had sought sanctuary under his protection. Due to England now being under Tudor rule of the Lancastrian families, word of Simon's ruse was slow to reach the ears of Yorkist loyalists. Eventually though, word would reach the powerful Yorkist leaders in the country, who wished for a push to overthrow Henry VII. Simnel would be smuggled out of the country to Ireland. Ireland was the ideal place for Simnel to be smuggled to, due to the country still remaining partial to the Yorkist cause. On his arrival Simnel would be presented the Earl of Kildare who was also the Lord Deputy of Ireland. Simnel and Simon would win the Earl over with their plot and Simnel was paraded through the streets of Dublin on the shoulders of Sir William Darcy, an ally of the Earl of Kildare and the renowned as the tallest man in Ireland. Simnel would be crowned at a fast coronation as Edward VI, in Christ Church Cathedral in Dublin on 24 May 1487. By this time, word of the Yorkist plot had come to the attention of Henry VII, who ordered that the body of Edward Plantagenet be paraded through the streets of London in order to dispel any rumours. Unfortunately for Henry, this act was still no enough to quell the Yorkist momentum. After the fast coronation, the Yorkist rebellion gained momentum. Backing was received from Burgundy, where Edward Plantagenet's aunt, Margaret of York, the Dowager Duchess of Burgundy lived in exile. Margaret would raise an army of around 2,000 mercenaries who would travel to Ireland to join up with an army of Irish soldiers under the command of Thomas Fitzgerald of Lacca, younger brother of the Lord of Kildare. Margaret's mercenary army would arrive in Ireland on 5 May 1487 under the command of Martin Schwartz, who was prominent military leader. Also, in the army would be, John de La Pole, 1st Earl of Lincoln, who was the nephew of King Richard III. Such movement of forces would come to the attention of Henry VII who would soon raise an army in England to combat this threat. Simnel's army landed on the island on Peel in Lancashire on 5 June 1487. Initially on landing the army was joined by some English supporters but this support dwindled as they made their way south to Nottinghamshire. Henry VII on the other hand, who was preparing for an invasion of Ireland to counteract any Irish incursion into England was able to speedily ready an army against any threat. Both armies would eventually reach the area of the village of East Stoke in Nottinghamshire on 5 June 1487. By this time Simnel's army has amassed around 8,000 soldiers to Henry VII's 12,000. The forces would clash on 6 June 1487 in what has now become known as the Battle of Stoke Field. Henry's Tudor forces would come out of the battle victorious, with over 4,000 dead, in Simnel's army which was about half of his forces. John de La Pole, 1st Earl of Lincoln and Thomas Fitzgerald of Lacquer were both killed in the battle. Richard Simon, 
Simnel's tutor, would escape execution due to his religious status but would be given a life sentence, in the days when life sentences meant exactly that. Lord Kildare, who did not travel with Simnel's army to England, was pardoned eventually by Henry VII. As for Lambert Simnel, well he was also pardoned by Henry. Henry, no doubt realized that the boy was used mere as the figurehead of others and was put to work as at the Tudor court in various roles, including working in the kitchens, as a groom of the stool and later in life as a falconer. After this not much is known about Simnel. It is believed he did marry at some point and passed away in 1534, at around the age of 57.